with Ava and Olivia. It's a roll call. Charity. Almost a year. Angel. In the making. Last December, students at Shields Elementary in Glen Heights were displaced after an EF3 tornado tore through the area. An engineer hired by the district found the original builder did not properly secure the building's walls. The case was settled out of court with no admission of wrongdoing. Now, $13 million in repair and renovation later... Students and teachers are back. This is home. Tiffany Munoz teaches second grade. She is also a Shields Elementary alumni. But the school she's returning to is a major upgrade from when she was a student. We have a lot of new technology, uh, Wi-Fi in every classroom. Uh, it's a dry erase board, and it covers our whole wall. It's an interactive board, short throw projectors, lots of new fun things for our kids. <laughs> It's a chance to turn tragedy into new teaching tools for students like five-year-old Angel, who's excited for her first day of kindergarten by using technology to meet kids where they already are. We want to make sure that our kids are learning in an environment that they live in every day. It's also an environment in which safety is at the head of the class. New features like shatterproof glass coatings and hurricane clips for HVAC units go above and beyond what building codes require. So kids can focus on what's really important. I'm looking forward to making new friends. Now that they're all grown up. I went to pre-K, now I'm in kindergarten. In Glen Heights, Steve Noviello. Are you excited for the first day of school? Mm-hmm. Fox 4 News.